interrelationship between activities determines the sequencing of the project. A preceding activity is one that creates a dependence. A succeeding activity is one that depends directly on the beginning or conclusion of the preceding activity. And remember that the duration of activities summed up with the interrelationship between them directly determines the duration of the project. The project allows four basic types of interrelationships. Finish to start. This is used to determine that the succeeding task can only be started after the preceding one has been concluded. Start to start. This is used to determine that the preceding and successive tasks should start at the same time. Finish to finish. This is used to determine that the preceding and successive tasks should be concluded at the same time. Start to finish. This is used to determine that the succeeding task shall be concluded as close as possible to the start-up of the preceding task. In order to create the interrelationship between activities of the summary task, script elaboration, select them and click on Link Tasks on the toolbar. The activities follow a sequence in which a task can only start after conclusion of the previous one. In this case, establishing interrelationships is quite simple. We have just created an agenda of the tasks. To visualize the timetable of these activities, click on Tools, Options, and in the View palette, change the date format so that the hours of the day will be displayed. The first task, Briefing Meeting, starts at the beginning of the project because by default a project scheduled from the start date has its activities beginning as soon as possible. Observe that all the tasks were scheduled to begin on the finish date of the previous task. We will now review the agenda in order to observe if the dates were assumed are satisfactory. The briefing meeting, according to the project, should take place on Monday from 8 to 10 o'clock and research in the company will start directly after. However, it will not be possible to start research at that hour of the day. To sidetrack this problem, we will insert a delay in the relationship in order to retard the beginning of research. Give a double click on the link that connects the task briefing meeting to the task research at company. The field lag should be filled in with the amount of release time or postponement desired. Enter six hours. You can now see that the beginning of this task has been scheduled to start at eight o'clock on January the 5th. By inserting a negative delay between two activities linked to finish and to start, you will cause them to be executed simultaneously, and if these activities constitute the critical path of the project, you will reduce the duration of your project. This is known worldwide as the fast track or fast tracking. Carefully observe the task, script writing. Although it has a duration of four days, it starts on a Friday and finishes on Wednesday, a period of six days. This happens because the project determines the schedule based on the calendar defined for the project in which only the weekly workdays are considered. An evaluation meeting is scheduled to take place on January the 18th at 8 o'clock followed by the task script correction. It would be convenient that the script writer use the remaining time of the day to make any corrections. Therefore, instead of scheduling the task for a duration of one day, we will schedule it with a duration of six hours. Check that this task is now scheduled to be finished on January the 18th at 6 p.m. Observe that the stage, script elaboration, finishes on January the 20th. You can visualize this on the Gantt chart with the milestone, final client approval, or through the finish date of the summary task, script elaboration. After the video script is defined, the production stage will start, involving the caption of images, creation of trailers and soundtracks, among others. 
all activities related to the production stage should commence after finishing the script. Select Script Elaboration and while holding down the control key, select Production. Now, click on Link Tasks on the edge of the toolbar. In this way, all production activities will start automatically after script elaboration. The tasks involving the production stage will not feature a standardized sequence, as in script elaboration. Therefore, we will establish a link by means of a Gantt chart. Click on Gantt chart wizard on the toolbar. Click on Next. Choose the type of standard information and advance. Choose custom task information and click on Next. On the field right, choose the option Name to display information with normal bars. In relation to the information you wish to display with the summary bars, do not choose any option at all, just click on Next. On the field to your right, choose Start to display information with milestone symbols. Choose Yes to display link lines and click on Next. To finalise, click on Format It and then on Exit Wizard. We will now link the tasks. The studio should be painted blue for recording the chroma key. We need to first paint the studio in order to wait for it to dry and then start recording. Click on Paint and holding down the mouse button, pull it up to drying, releasing the button when a chain appears on top of the destination task. Click on Drying and pull up to Recording. The remaining tasks of this stage depend on the activity, production and recording schedule. That is why we will link them to this task using the relation finish to start. Check that the tasks that are defining the end of production are creation of video soundtrack and creation of trailer for video. That is why we will link the milestone end of production to them. Observe in the Gantt chart that the end of production will be on the day February the 2nd. All the activities of the addition stage should occur after finish of production. Click on Production and pull the mouse up to Edition, linking these summary tasks. Tasks of the addition stage occur in a sequence as in script elaboration. Select them and click on Link Tasks on the toolbar. We have just finished arranging the activities, taking only into account their relationship of mutual dependence. The critical path is the most important path for the project under the aspect of time. The activities that are involved in the critical path are called critical activities. These activities are directly related to the duration of the project. The determination of a simple critical path is done through the Gantt Chart Assistant. Choose the type of information, Critical Path. Click on Finish, Format and then on Exit Wizard. The critical path of the project is highlighted with red colour. An important hint. When you delay a critical activity by one day, you will certainly delay the project conclusion by one day, assuming that you will not manage to recover this time lost. However, by advancing a critical activity one day, you will not necessarily anticipate conclusion of the project by one day, since the critical path may have been changed. <laughs>